What's up everybody back with another Honkai Star Rail video and in this video I'm going to talk about the best piece of relic you can use on your self-modeling resin. If you don't know what your self-modeling resin is, once you hit level 40 in the battle pass, don't worry, this is the free version. I'm actually very excited that this is the free version, but anyway, you get it from level 40. If you don't have the $20 version, you probably won't be at this yet. You could be. I know people have already finished the battle pass already. Um, I'm 43 at the moment. I do have the free 10 skip. So you might not get it right now. If you've already skipped it, you probably already have it. So I figured it'd be a good time to make this video now as everybody is about to get to it. But you get it from level 40 in the battle pass. You get one copy each battle pass cycle, which I think is fair. I wish there were other ways to get this, hopefully through events and whatnot. But pretty much what a self-modeling resin is, is it takes the synthesize, um, what was it, 10 relics, right? And you can exchange them for these materials. Once you get 100, you can pick your own relic in a sense let me go up to the screen and it'll be a little bit easier to explain so let's say i'm farming this set and i need a feet piece i can just go and have materials and synthesize it however it will be random on the main stat however with the custom synthesis you can actually pick what one you want on the main stat do note that it's not going to pick the substats so unfortunately you can use this and let's say you want crit rate on the body piece you could just get like defense and then you know the piece is not good but it helps you with a good chance of what you want now if you've already started thinking about this, oh, I should get it on the piece that has the most options because it'll be harder to get what I want. You would be correct. So for the head piece, you can only have HP. For the hands, you can only have attack. So obviously you wouldn't want to waste it on those as you can just use 10 salvage materials from the relics and boom, you get the main stat. Now the body has seven, which are HP, attack, defense, crit rate, crit damage, outgoing healing bonus, and effect hit rate. Most of the time you'll be gunning for those crit rate, crit damage, mostly crit rate from what I've seen from builds so far. And then on the feet, there are four. Most of the time you're going for speed or obviously HP or defense if you are a healer or a tank, as most of them scale off with defense or HP. But there's only four, so you're thinking, oh, hey, well, I'd rather do this one because there are a total of seven. Well, actually, funny enough, on the planner ornament synthesis, the sphere and the rope, there's actually ten on this one, and then there are five on this one. So the best one to pick is going to be the sphere, as there is ten different combinations and most of them matter as if you are someone who scales off of hp such as bailu you're gonna want hp if you're someone like the fire mc or gopard you're gonna want defense or if you're a damage dealer you're probably not gonna want attack you're probably gonna scale off of something else uh, so let's say you're like someone who scales off attack for healing or whatnot but most of the time you're going to want one of these elements now here is the kicker that's a lot right there are going to be some instances that you're going to go for other stuff like if you're building the perfect character and you already have this you could go for the body i think the sphere and the body piece are the best two because they have 10 and 7 combinations but it's going to be a very very gamble to actually get what you want substat wise so do keep that in mind don't just think okay sick this eliminates a whole farmed piece so what I'm going to do since I have one left is I am going to pull on the next banner and Jing is a thunder unit. So I'm going to go to the planner or ornament. I almost said order ornament like Chris's ornament. I keep wanting to call them Christmas ornaments because they're round and I'm like, oh yeah, the Christmas ornaments. And I'm like, no, they're like planner ornaments. Very close. Anyway, so I'm going to wait, I think before i use mine i'm pretty sure it's going to be attack as unfortunately the crit damage and crit rate ones aren't the craziest i mean the crit rate one is cool for the first attack i guess but i feel like these three are pretty much the best ones Matt, hp attack and defense so i'm probably going to grab this one for it actually you know what? we'll do it right now so this is what boo this is the attack one um Let's go down to lightning damage and then hit confirm. 
and then it will take a hundred of this material as well but i feel like you know that's fair right you are picking what you want i'm very happy with the system let me know what you have against the system if you don't like it or if you do like it in the comments personally i think that we get a little too few of these uh, maybe if there was an additional items that lets us pick at least one sub stat that'd be a lot nicer because i could roll this and then just not get anything out of it i mean it's cool that i'll get lightning damage but if in the end it doesn't have good sub stats like if it's just hp hp defense defense i'm probably not going to use it i'll probably just salvage it which really does suck but at least this option is here so let's go ahead and synthesize it i'm very worried i hope this works out well so crit rate crit damage is what we're looking for attack you know just just a good piece right all right here we go it is attack right all right make sure all right fate stranger fake that has to be a fate reference that's fun there's a lot of anime references in this i've noticed there's like what pokemon i think they had a dragon ball one if i'm not mistaken i'd be thinking of genshin all right moment of truth everybody let's see what it is crit damage hp okay so it has crit damage okay so here's another thing i've noticed you kind of have to gamble so i made a video on this before and i didn't know this let me go over to um someone like several since she doesn't have any relics i noticed this before if you level up a relic you cannot uh salvage it unless it's synthesize it same thing almost you can't salvage it so for let me do an example i think i leveled up yeah i leveled up this one right because i had what defense hp defense and i was like okay if i get crit damage right or attack or something i might use this and it rolled effect resistance and i was like okay well i don't want this you can't salvage it once you leveled up so do keep that in mind if you do roll one that's stinky you cannot use it for salvage very unfortunate um there's always a way to kick you when you're down in this game unfortunately so i think i'm going to enhance this um let me just let me at least see what it gets from leveling so level three wish me luck i'm hoping for crit rate or attack i feel like that'd be you know not too greedy of me to ask for you know and we get defense oh great it's the genshin it's the genshin curse oh there's many times with hp yeah i'm very unfortunate um let's see let me just let's see what we can get we'll, we'll max it defense awesome not not the greatest okay i mean the lightning damage boost is very nice i'll probably use this regardless break effect i, I mean i prefer the crit do the crit damage i'm gonna be honest with you break effect okay well unfortunately this piece is not looking too good i'm gonna max it regardless like i said watch me get a really good piece um almost to 15 this will probably be it right here and okay it went up in the end all right all right, all right. game threw me a bone so as you can see this probably won't be the best one i get but at least it's something right i get 17 um oh, not 17 crit damage sorry i get 12.9 percent crit damage and i get the lightning damage bonus i think i've gotten two legendary lightning ones but they've been for defense so obviously the rng isn't that great i also haven't been farming them too much let me know if you have any super cracked relics so far i know a couple of my friends have gotten really lucky and i know a lot of other people have gotten insanely lucky and they have like a full like it looks like they've grinded for like a whole year already but regardless of that that is it for the video best of luck on your relic rolls and yeah i'll catch y'all in the next video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe as always and i'll catch y'all in the next one